impression. <laughs> okay, how's that? Um, okay, so we need to look at what these word mean, words mean. Sustainable sounds lovely. However, if you look at um, the uh, Kyoto agreement, agreement, the treaty that was basically um, voted and failed to pass in the Senate 99 to 1 uh, in 98. So now it's like being passed in a different way. And the verbiage, they knew it was going to be fought against and not acceptable as Local Agenda 21, Sustainable Development. So, according to this J. Gary Lawrence, that's on this piece of paper that somebody might, that you all might have here, um, he says we have to call our process something else, such as comprehensive planning, growth management, or smart growth, because the affluent middle class involving high meat consumption, <laughs> uh, large amounts of frozen and convenience foods, fossil fuel usage, appliances, home, workplace, air conditioning, this is not sustainable. What's not sustainable? It means that it's not the same all over the world. There are countries who don't have this. Mm -hmm. That's because those countries are not free. The primary freedom, the guarantee of freedom, is our right to own property, right. whether that Our paycheck, whether that is a home, whether that is a stable with horses, that is your right to have that property. And that guarantees freedom once the government, any level of government, federal, state, town, whatever, starts taking that away, your freedom is gone. Mm -hmm. And if you look at all these sort of definitions, somebody said there weren't any definitions, they're vague. But when you have all these various areas that they want to develop, alternate growth areas, a corridor. So are we going to be corralled into these hubs? There's one way out. Now, there is a map out there on the internet. I don't know if anyone has seen it. It is the death map of Agenda 21. These areas are not connected. So this corridor is your egress and ingress into your hub. And just to mention something about, and, and who is the government to determine how land is going to be used? It's our land. It's our property. And uh, the gentleman, I just want to expand and give you a real example of what he said when he saw these huge tenements. I'm from Hungary. We came here when I was little. <laughs> I'm not going to say how many years ago. Um, and this family back home. I was stunned when I went back home and visited family that they, at one time, consider communism, Russian control. They lived in a government house in their little apartment. They don't have one bedroom, two bedroom. They have three rooms, two rooms, four rooms, Wow. Those were constructed so the plumbing was not adequate for toilet paper to go down. Imagine that. There was a truck that came by every week for your poopy toilet paper collection. Is that what we want here? No. Okay. I'm done. Thank you. Uh, my concern is um, not, not addressed here. There are concerns that I um, agree with, including uh, property rights, uh, as well as not letting the developers uh, run roughshod over, uh, over us, like it happened in Long Branch. Um, 
But one of my major concerns that hasn't been addressed is uh, that we're facing a, um, a big event in, in the near future uh, of New Jersey as well as the world. It's the climate change issue. The, the poles are melting, so we're going to have a lot of water. We're already having a lot of water. Um, so now you're letting all these uh, developments to, to take um, um, charge in New Jersey, and you're going to build everywhere with no restriction, and it's going to end up uh, that these places are all going to be flooded. And right now what's happening in North Jersey is all those, all those houses that are being flooded are being bought by the state. The state is paying taxpayers money to buy those uh, houses from those people. We're going to end up having to pay without taxpayers money for all these developments that's going to be built in these flood zones, new flood zones, um, and, and we're going to end up uh, being more bankrupt as a result of all this um, unfettered, uncontrolled uh, development. Um, this is this. I'm concerned that this plan is going to allow um, uh, all kinds of uh, new things to come up, where you really um, need to take care of of the new realities of the um, the new uh, era that we're in. That the plan needs to take. Uh, you know, other states like uh, Washington, for example, and New York State are asking their insurance uh, firms to evaluate what's going to happen uh, with respect to the um, new um, environment. And here, our, go uh, our governor is totally oblivious to this. He's opening the whole state up for development. He's letting all the big developers to take charge, and, and basically it's going to end up um, hurting this, uh, the state much more than it will help all this uh, unchecked development. Thank you. And then uh, from COTT or COH. kind of confused about is if the plan is a state plan and it consists of 33 counties with the state plan you have 21 counties you have several towns within those uh, counties and I'm running for US Senate so I'm all over the state and anybody that knows about this a lot of people are frustrated and the thing that worries me a little bit is that there may be good parts of this plan, and there may be bad parts of this plan. But with six meetings, it's just, it's not enough. And it's coming across as a closed process. And I know that Governor Christie absolutely wouldn't want a meeting like this to come across as being closed, or like anything's being hidden. There's a lot of people during the day that can't make it here. And at seven o'clock at night, six o'clock at night, it's good for a whole sector of people, but what about people who work at night? They can't come during the day, or business owners. And I'll be honest with you, I've been here, I think this is my third meeting, and I know that you don't set it up so it's a treasure hunt, but I will tell you, it was absolutely wild getting in this place. And I will tell you that if I wasn't the patriot that I was, it probably would have turned around and left because this place is a madhouse. It's a beautiful campus. So was the other Stockton. But, you know, you have people that are challenged, people that are seniors, and this is big boy stuff. This is a state plan. This isn't something that's small. And there's only six meetings. And I'll tell you that this, there's a lot of people in this state that are just asking for something simple. More meetings. And I believe that Governor Christie, being the open person and being as transparent as he is, and I consider him a friend, would absolutely concur if there was a way that that message could be brought to him. I think that this is going to sabotage this state plan. It's that serious. 
And it shouldn't be the issue of this whole entire thing. But my main concern, in addition to that, is in New Jersey, we are, you have a business person like the gentleman over there who's frustrated. And in the map of, of this state, we have to make sure that, in addition to these pods, that we have room for manufacturing. And that Agenda 21 isn't going to condition and push out manufacturing, which is going to bring in jobs, which is going to make the real estate sector better in the state. Uh, closing with that, I would just ask that they consider opening up during the day. I know at nighttime, uh, which is fair, a lot of people work during the day, but there's a lot of seniors. And the other thing that I'm shocked at is Ocean County. I mean, why would they not do Ocean County? Why would not? Why wouldn't they open up to Ocean County? I, I to me, I'm, uh, I'm utterly confused. Thank you. Thank you. Frank, I'm with the, uh, I just want to mention a couple of groups here because you got you got to realize, folks, that you guys are uh, divided and you guys have been conquered. You're not hooked up. You're just uh, you're just people. We're the ones that it says in the Constitution all inherent power is 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 available to us, and we don't really have that now. So there's a couple of Tea Party groups I want to mention. Uh, there's my Monmouth County Tea Party group. There's Jackson over here. There's Ocean County Citizens for Freedom, there's New Jersey Shore, there's Bay Shore, I think Middlesex just left. You know, if you want, hook up to somebody over here and come to a meeting. And uh, maybe these things won't be happening. Because the problem is, this has been happening 30, 40 years. You know, the Federal Department of Education in 79 with Carter, what are they doing? Killing us, or things are worse. The state's gonna get involved. Listen, the state can't even, the towns and the states can't even handle a dog shelter. <laughs> I was in Jersey City, they killed 80 of them. I couldn't even get to a grand jury because of Barry Alba. We got some problems. You guys need to know about these things. You have no rights. You don't have property rights. You pay property taxes and rent. Come on. They're going to do what they want to you. Come election time, like we tried, we busted our humps. And they're still going to get in because how many people are here watching TV and not coming out? I like the environment. I was an environmentalist. I was a feminist in college. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not just to the right. I've been all over, but I'm a constitutionalist. I'm a patriot. I love everybody here, and and I want everything clean. But there's smart ways to do it. I've seen the government do it with their head in there. I've seen the things they do. They don't have it. They're going to set up a chromium manufacturing somewhere where there's no trains and it's going to cause more damage, probably have it run off. They're going to put you know, a bunch of condos somewhere where the road's going here, you know, there's going to be traffic. Are you tired of sitting in lights? Are you tired? Well, here's another thing they can plan. You go down with 35 and 36 and you catch every stinking red light. <laughs> That's 20% more gas my car's using. Focus on that. Let the grass grow on the ramps to the parkway. I'm serious. That creates a lot of oxygen. Photosynthesis. I'm an electrical engineer, a little bit of a scientist, a little bit of all of that. They don't do that. They just want to control. It's the bonding. There's a lot of money with bonding, like the guy said over here from the Middlesex Tea Party group. When the, when, the, when the rooster comes to call, you got to pay. And you're going to lose your house unless you want to pay double, triple. They're not doing things right. Nothing against anybody here. You know, maybe there's mandates on them. We don't know. We definitely need, though, I'll tell you this, a lot more meetings. Definitely. If somehow that could get to the governor and we can work together, maybe with the groups, do some emails, phone calls, that's what we got to do. Because there's just too many unknowns here. Thank you. King. 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 Sorry. Okay. Hi, my name's Dave, and I'm a, you know, a citizen property owner. Um, I, I don't know a whole lot about the plan, but anything that the government does, you have to question. Okay? Um, they want to 
create these sites, you know, where people can live and stuff like that. What is it going to do to pre-existing property owners? What what would be the outcome down the road to somebody owning a, a farm, a large lot, or anything like that? What's the what is the outcome down the road from all this pre-existing? That's what I'd like to know, or how will that play out in the future? Uh, but anything the government does, uh, you got to question it. Um, let the free market handle it. I have a friend who works in Jersey City, he lived in Woodbridge, he had a nice commute. He wasn't a bad commute to Jersey City. Then he wanted to sell, he wanted to live in Jackson. He has a nice house in Jackson and stuff. I wouldn't do it myself, but that's that's his prerogative, what he wants to do with his property, you know? And, that, and that's what I think it's gonna be coming down to, you know? Um, we own a property. And we have the right to do what we want. It's our own property. We don't need somebody mandating what, how our property is going to be used up to a point, you know. And some of this plan looks like it will drown out people with large properties down the road. It looks like they have a scheme here to eliminate people with large properties and stuff like that in open space. You know, people that own open land, they got a way of, uh, I'm sure there's something in there where they'll be able to confiscate it. There's a lot to look at here. And like the guy over here said, we need more meetings. And it has to be more open, maybe publicized in that paper and stuff like that. Okay.